Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here and just at a sporting event where they have all the kids and what appears to be all of Nago and probably the surrounding island here at a nice soccer game. Everybody's here, I thought it was pretty neat. I wanted to stop and share it with you. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. But they've been going at it all day. And you know, you can see just back and forth. As you can see, soccer's uh, pretty popular here in Japan because everybody is doing it. The whole community, you got the kids, you got everyone, and it's just pretty neat. So you can watch them going back and forth there. Not sure exactly who's winning, but you know, they've been going pretty hard. And that's what I love about the Japanese culture, just the family, the community. They, they just always have a good time. So let me leave you with that and have a good day. Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here and today's video is going to be on Captain Kangaroo. It's the Kangaroo Burger here in Okinawa, Japan and it's world famous. Yes, I did find it. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. But this may look like a small Japanese burger place, but it's very famous here in Japan. They usually sell out between, you know, a few hours. As you can see, it's, it's always packed. You know, sometimes you can't even get in there. But, you know, there's Captain Kangaroo in Okinawa, Japan, and they have one of the most delicious burgers that you can get and going down here you can see this beautiful day I want to show you some of the flowers over here there was a comment that somebody did like the different uh, flowers and plants that they had so here you go this is for you as you can see you got these nice yellow flowers I'm not sure exactly what they're called but you know, a nice little bush looking thing there, different colors, and just some of the differences between the plants. And they plant these flowers and plants all over. They're along the roads, the highways. They're just very big into, you know, nature and plants and, and stuff like this. And it's absolutely beautiful. You know, there's a lot better sites in other areas but I'm just showing you what I have to work with here you see some plants off there in the background but again beautiful day kangaroo burger you just see some of the differences with the vehicles you know their trucks that little truck there is significantly smaller than an American truck but I love those things they're very easy to maneuver get around very very flexible and very good on gas so again this was the captain kangaroo and as you can see they've got the parking lot over there that's usually full packed full of people sometimes you gotta watch yourself there's so much traffic going in and out of there but captain kangaroo burger so let me leave you with that and have a good day Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here. Just wanted to give you a better look on some of the differences with the vehicles. So I'm here alongside a highway. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. But I just wanted to share with you, you know, the difference between a Japanese vehicle and an American vehicle. As you can see, they, there are some differences. They look a little different. You know, you can see there's a 
the roadways are laid out a little different the arrow marks on the ground there but they're a little smaller so just kind of wanted to show you you know what what always gets me is the the tires on these vehicles they're very small you know you got the park there in the background you know if you're a nature lover the different types of trees that they've got grass but very nice community here comes some more cars so you can get a look at them but different colors different styles and it just you know it just catches my eye a little bit as different they're, they're a little more squared off as you can see they still got the big heavier duty trucks but they've also got the little Tonka trucks too and you know as, as you can see they got some American style older vehicles here and just some different vehicles some work vehicles cars and you know what what stands out is the small ones like this one coming up here you know you can see the small tires definitely a smaller vehicle the reason they're smaller is because the roads are smaller and they're a little tighter than an American road so again these vehicles actually shut off so most of them when they come to a stop here the vehicle is shut off to save some gas and it's just pretty neat so I wanted to share it with you and have a good day hello youtubers Alan Lindsley here and I wanted to share another beautiful view with you if you do like the video please like and subscribe but here is one of the colleges that they have beautiful trees scenery you see people uh, going to school they got the vehicles parked in the parking lot over there and I just like the view of this structure along with the plant surrounding plants and nature that they have here so you know over here they've got the intersection another establishment over there they had a huge event with a bunch of I'd say thousands of little kids playing multiple instruments it was amazing I wish I could have caught that on video but uh, I didn't have the camera with me at the time I apologize but you know here's the nice building the plants you know you kind of get a fill for just the family community of Nago and it's absolutely wonderful so if you do like the video please like and subscribe and have a good day Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here and I wanted to show you another beautiful sight of this wonderful park that I've found. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. But there's a nice little uh, monument, castle sort of thing, uh, brick masonry in the background there with the beautiful trees. Past that you've got the ocean and the park goes on for a couple miles it's just like it just goes on and on it connects to the beach the beach goes on the beach walkway for quite some distance a good place to run ride the bike if you're into if you're a bird lover there's a lot of pigeons there just hanging out in the shade of those nice trees over there you can see the cars some of the differences in the vehicles compared to an american or uh, if you're in another country, different style of vehicle compared to the Japanese style. And it's just absolutely beautiful here. Beautiful sunny day. It did rain for a, a good while, a few, three, four days there, but it has stopped and got this beautiful day here. So I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you and have a good day. Just wanted to share another video with you. This is a beautiful view. Give you a look at the countryside. 
And I'll explain a little bit. As you can see, they have a lot of landslides. If you see off in the distance there, they actually poured concrete up the mountain, up that hill to keep it from, you know, having a, a landslide or mudslide into the road and onto the houses and stuff below it. Another technique they use is they'll actually take these hills and, you know, take the dirt and, and take them down to flat land and they actually throw that material into the ocean to create more land, more space, because there is a, a space shortage here in Japan of flat land. They've got a lot of land, but a lot of it's hilly and mountainous. So what they do is, is they top off, say, the, a mountain or a hill, and they take that dirt, that material, and they put it into the ocean to make more land, more livable, usable land, farmland, houses, whatever they, whatever they'd like. A lot of it's uh, airports because they they build, you know, new airports. Everything expands out into the ocean, so you know they've got all that usable space out there, but it's covered by water. So they take that and they put it out into the ocean just to make more usable land. So just wanted to give you this view. Have a good day. Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here again and just wanted to show you a different view from this structure. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. But just absolute beautiful day here and I wanted to share it with you. The sun's out, it's shining, people out and about commuting, going to school, traveling, just doing their shopping. And I just wanted to get as much of Nago as possible because I'm getting ready to leave and head over to the Philippines. There is a typhoon heading to the Philippines. It's going to hit this Saturday. So luckily I've got another 10 days here in Japan and hopefully there's not much flooding or evacuations or too much trouble with that typhoon. Hopefully it kind of misses them. But what I like about this building is just the architecture. And it's pretty neat. They put a lot into it. It's beautiful. You see scooters over there, bikes. A lot of people travel around with the scooters and the bicycles. Not everyone in Japan has a car. Actually, the majority of the Japanese, they, they do not drive. They don't have license, but a lot do. So you can see some of the difference in the vehicles, the nature, the plants, and just the hometown feel of Nago. So if you do like the video, like and subscribe, and have a good day. Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here in another video. I had a comment that you liked the difference between the culture of Japan and here's some of the difference between the difference between their automobiles and their cars. As you can see, they're a little smaller. They're kind of a little squared off. Tires are a a little definitely smaller. If you, if you see them up close, they look dwarfed compared to like an American tire. But as you can see, you know, just a little differently. Everything's a little smaller in Japan. The vehicles are no exception. They actually shut off during, uh, you know, if they come to a stop or a stop sign or stoplight, the vehicle shuts off and they got to restart it to save gasoline. So, you know, if you do like the video, please like and subscribe, and have a good day. Hello, YouTubers. Alan Lindsley here, and another evening of enjoying the night. If you do like the video, like and subscribe, but this will be a taste of my lovely evening. I've been reading for a couple hours, just enjoying the night. Nice scenery of the traffic of Nago. It's uh, been kind of quiet tonight. It just rained and enjoying the night. I'm going to go see some friends in just a little bit here and just enjoying the evening with my good book and as you can see not that many people around due to the weather and hopefully they come out tonight so that way we can hang out and have a good time but this is uh, pretty much the 
the center of the shopping center of Nago. It's not the biggest part of the town if that's on the other end, but this is quite the bu busiest part of this part of town. That's a key intersection there. And it's been a wonderful evening of just enjoying that good book. Uh, good knowledge there. Just kind of a slow, easy night. And just wanted to share that with you. And hope you enjoyed the nice evening that I'm having and the nice view. And the lovely, loveliness of Nago. So, again, if you do like the video, like and subscribe. And have a good night.